If you're one of the few people who has heard of Badger Hill in San Bernardino, it's probably because of the Murillo Observatory at the top. But Bradley Hampton isn't here on a sunny morning to look at stars. So why is he here? Could it be for the plants? At first glance, this might seem like endless sagebrush, but Bradley shows us Badger Hill has more. This is an elderberry. You can see it's starting to blossom, and it, you can also see some of the berries. So this is California buckwheat. It's blooming everywhere, and it's really beautiful. This is tree tobacco, and yes, it is full of nicotine. This is a, a walnut tree. Uh, you can kind of see some walnuts already growing. Thorn apple. And it is, uh, it's actually poisonous. California sunflowers. There's not regular sunflowers as we might see in a ginormous sunflower. But they are sunflowers nonetheless, and the birds love them. And there it is. You can't be out in nature for too long with Bradley Hampton before the subject will come back to his real passion birds. Just digging out the sunflowers, it seems. A female just joined them to his right. Up. Oh. Now he's in front of him. Final Pepla is a bird that looks like a black cardinal and he has got red eyes. Badger Hill's combination of aqueduct water and plant life makes it attractive to birds, which makes it attractive to bird watchers. Remember those elderberries? These berries will turn black, and the birds will come and devour these things. All of which makes me wonder how much of the world I've underestimated, the same way I underestimated what there is to see and hear at Badger Hill.